this is what we say. It's a very, very interesting point if you look at it in a physical dimension or in a energy dimension. You stand in front of the light and you have a shadow. Is if the shadow is in front of you, between the light and you, which means there is a stronger light from behind, or is the shadow behind you, that you are between the light and the shadow? Who is creator of which? And who is manifestation of what? Is the soul of the man still exist in the shadow on the ground? Does that shadow contains emotion? Or how come the reflection of our physicality, which is against itself, if it's changed slightly, would there be a shadow? If we live in the dimension of the plasma field. And then if we are in that state, would the shadow still carry the soul? Or one is a transmutation of the field of the other. Don't forget that the shadow on the ground receives the fields of the earth faster than before us. Is our shadow the interaction of the fields of our field with the field of the earth that creates that condition of what we call image without a soul, or is there a soul in that shadow? Then, if you understand this, comes to a point, what happened if we change the strength of the light? If we make it dimmer, that in the absence of the light, there is no shadow and no, none of us, we don't exist, because there is nothing to shine on us to show the shadow. Then, isn't that the essence of the creation and the creator? With the love and the light and the fields of the creator, we manifest ourselves, that with it, the shadow is the existence of the physicality of the man, where the soul of the man decides the shape of the shadow. In so many ways, we become the soul of physicality and our shadow becomes the physicality. It just follows as the structured and as the soul, which is the light, decides to interact with it and manifest itself in different strengths and different, what we call shade of shadow. This runs man into essence of theology which, in fact, if you understand it, brings us back to the point of the knowledge of the science, of understanding the point of the creation and the creator. In the coming time, we got to understand the knowledge of the man will become so deep that he can even give life to his shadow. Transmutation, of the field, if we can interact between the physical body and the shadow on the floor, we can give enough life to it that will mimic and be copy of the physicality which created it. It's the lack of knowledge that makes this impossible for man, but in truth, if in a coming time, mankind become wise enough to understand this, where the light comes from, where your physicality exists, and where your shadow lies, if you could create the fields strong enough in a direction and in that dimension, you can give life as physicality the shadow of the man. This knowledge. It's not a hidden knowledge, it's just that mankind 
does not have the knowledge to be able to listen. In a way, is a continuity of the existence as the shadow is created by the interaction of the fields of the earth, as much as the field interaction of the lights from the source. It's just that we haven't reached to that level of knowledge to be able to do so. And if you can do so, you'll come to a very deep understanding that I can create many more from the shadow of me. If I can interact at each point and transfer enough energy that can be done. In the present world, we call it cloning. In the world of creation, we call it the creation of the field. But one thing for sure, none will have the same emotion. As each one interacts with its own environment of the existence of this. We have talked about this in a different way, being present in one place, and maybe two at the same time. Now we teach you this in the coming. Then you understand the transportation and transmutation. You transport, and then at the same time, you transmit. What do you mean to say? Could be this on Earth, and this on Mars. How would you look? Even the soul is the same in understanding. There's a deep knowledge of space technology and not open to many races of the universe. It has a lot of implication and application. Any other questions?